Hello everyone. Um, welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. My name is Christopher Donald and I'm going to be talking about um, cleaning up kiln shelves and some of the tools that we use for that. So in group studios um, we generally place kiln wash on our kiln shelves and the kiln wash is there to serve as a barrier and basically a release agent for any time uh, glaze gets on the surface of the kiln shelf and we need to scrape it off. Over time, that can get built up in multiple layers and you can get to a point where you need to do some more serious work cleaning up the shelves. Um, and this one's moderately bad. Um, actually, I guess lucky for us, I couldn't find one that was really, really terrible. So this is the example I'm gonna go with. And when they get to a certain point, you end up having to grind them back down. And so that's that's more what I'm going to be showing. I'll show a couple of stages here, though. The first one is that you would just use like a, a paint scraper. And you're going to go and see if you can get the glaze to come off, you know, just crumbling away the, uh, the kiln wash material itself. And that's going to make it so that, you know, hopefully most of those come off. Actually, this shelf's in a little worse shape than I thought it was. So, hey, that's great. Um, <clears throat> so some of the ones I was trying to scrape, they just didn't come off with the paint scraper. I can also use a dressing block and see if I can kind of get them to come up with that. And if those don't work, then I got to resort to power tools. My two power tools of choice are going to be an angle grinder like this and a belt sander. Now, this stuff, this kiln wash is primarily made of alumina. Uh, alumina is not nice. It's not great stuff. You want to be doing this with a um, uh, respirator on with protection. You also want to be wearing clothes that you can blow the dust off of or wash them when you're done. You want to be doing this outside. Uh, it's nasty. And men especially, you don't want to be ingesting this material. It will cause sterility uh, in men, so it'll make you sterile. So that's not so great, depending on what your future plans are for family. You're also going to want to use ear protection for both of these. These are very loud tools. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the belt sander here, and I'm going to see how much of this I can take off with the belt sander before I switch to using the angle grinder. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, you can see, dusty. And I made sure to angle that away from myself too. I'm gonna to go ahead and get the grinder connected here. You can see now that I've removed, <coughs> now that I've removed most of this kiln wash, things that were damaged more deeply, it's kind of been revealed. You can see some spots where the glaze ate into the shelf a little bit. <coughs> I'm going to try and grind some of this out. So we're going to move to the next tool. Another loud one.
Now, one issue with these materials with the glaze is that it eats into the shelf like acid, and it'll actually pit into the shelving. So it can be difficult to remove it, and I have to watch because the glaze is tougher than the shelf. <laughs> and the grinder will start to take away shelf, and this won't remove the glaze. So you kind of do your best um, to not make the situation worse, frankly. Um, I might hit this again with a little bit of the sandpaper, just because that is going to be a little bit more even. Uh, it's going to kind of feather the grinding in a way that the grinding wheel doesn't. So let me hit that real quick. All right, that's about as clean as it's going to get. <coughs> so now I want to dust myself off. I want to go taking all this into my house, into my studio. And in fact, these clothes are going in the washing machine as soon as I'm done with this. Oh, sorry, I had my mic on my thing, so that was all garbled. Anyway, this is all getting dusted off, thrown in the wash. So I don't get it all into my house. This is about as clean as it's going to get. And now I'm going to put a fresh coat of um, kiln wash on here. I'll be doing that part of the video at Claymakers. Hi, welcome back. Um, in the interest of uh, kind of being quiet for folks who were trying to work at Claymakers, I decided to do a, a voiceover on this section after the fact. Um, so I've got the kiln shelf here indoors, and I have a bucket of um, pre-mix kiln wash. There are recipes for kiln wash, but you can also buy it just as a powder and just add water to it. So you want to mix it to about the thickness of like heavy cream, maybe a teeny little bit thicker. And then you just apply it with a natural bristle brush. This is a cheaper um, like well, a chip brush that you could get at uh, like a hardware store like Lowe's or Home Depot. And I'm just trying to put one nice even coat on to begin with, uh, minimizing heavy brush strokes. And you might see me kind of tab or dab a little bit extra in the spots that are a little bit lower where I had to grind a little bit just to make sure that it gets down in there. The um, shelf is a, a tiny little bit porous so it will absorb some of the moisture from the kiln wash as you're putting this on here and kind of dry as you go. Generally, I can get my first coat on, um, and by the time I finish the first coat, it's dried enough at the beginning for me to start putting on the second coat. So you see there the spot where it had the ring left by uh, a pot that had kind of, the glaze had come off and it had burned into the shelf. That I'm gonna make sure I add a little bit extra just to get down into those crevices. Just a little bit of blurb there I rubbed off with my nail. And you just keep the brush moving and you should be able to get a pretty good coating on this. Some people will use a paint roller. I generally don't just because I like to clean my brush off um, between uses. Illumina is fairly hazardous. I don't like leaving a dirty paintbrush around. And a paint roller is worse, you just have to kind of like keep it wet all the time and it just gets nasty. So I generally won't use paint rollers. And then to clean a paint roller, you have to rinse quite a bit of kiln wash out of it. So unless I'm doing a lot of shelves, if I have to do like five or more shelves, I might use a roller. 
to speed it up a bit. So you can see I'm just going back over this, putting in a second good coat on there. And really, uh, for a freshly ground down or a brand new shelf, two coats is good. And then you should be able to maintain it with light scraping and just touching up and maybe occasionally putting one more coat on it. But for most use, you should be able to keep it in pretty good shape for weeks, uh, for multiple firings. Um, unless, of course, something leaks onto it and then you have to scrape down deep or regrind it in places. If I get to a point where I have to do any grinding, any regrinding, I strip the whole shelf. I start fresh, um, just so that I don't have an uneven surface. So that is essentially um, the entire thing. Um, again, you know, be safe when you're removing this kind of material and uh, make sure you're doing it outdoors. Uh, when you're using the alumina, make sure you don't um, uh, accidentally ingest any of the kiln wash. This is not good for you. So um, thanks for joining me and uh, I'll get you back on my channel again soon. There's my brush, nice and washed. That's what you do at the end of it. All right, take care, bye.